In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showcasing the PayPal animated buy buttons found at museforyoushop.com. Now there's the PayPal animated buy buttons, there's the Selfie animated buy buttons, and the Pulley and Gumroad animated buy buttons. So there's four different e-commerce platforms that you can use the animated buy buttons for. And if I go back here in my shop, we can see the different widgets here. We have PayPal, Pulley, Selfie and Gumroad. These are all the different e-commerce platforms that you can use the anim animated buy buttons for. And you can purchase the complete bundle as well. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to showcase the different buttons that you can use and a quick uh, best practice when using these buttons. So uh, I'm gonna click here on preview example site and I'm going to scroll down. We can see here we have 18 different button types and each button type has three variations of shape and color. So the first button type here is Itzel and when you scroll over we have that animated uh, effect there and the icon appears and you can also change this icon here with over uh, 660 font awesome icons uh, found at font awesome dot io I believe yep and you can look at all the icons here and you can replace that PayPal icon with any icon you'd like here very good so that's itzel and then we go to the second example and this is a sack night and it's a very interesting effect for your buy buttons now all these buttons when you click on them uh, the option to set the price and everything uh, is in the widget and I'll show you that after I showcase the buttons so that's sack night and then if we go to three we have this one this one is EC very interesting effect there and then we'll go to four this one is Quiddle it's very cool I added the animator effect to this as well so here in the bottom, I've added uh, some of the widgets that I've used for, for this demo. Okay, very good. So I'll go to five. Number five is Shikoba. And again, we have the icon and you can replace that icon. You can also replace the text in any of these uh, buttons. So rather than buy now, you can say like add to cart or anything you'd like in those buttons. Very good. Then we have six. Six is Anti-Man. Very cool looks nice and again it has the icon and you can replace the text we have number seven it's naira and it has an icon in there as well yep and again it comes with three different variations so some of these buttons are more circular some of them have an animation that's coming in from a different angle um but uh but yeah so in total there's 54 different variations that you can use and uh customized font color um, everything is customizable customized size you could have a huge button on your website if you'd like with this widget so this is Winona and this is you Jirak here very nice oh yeah and with Winona I'll go back to Winona you can change the color of that transparency in the background very nice so I'll go back to nine you Jirak here very nice and we'll go to ten and we have Weira. That's a very interesting effect. Okay, we have 11. This is Tamaya. This is one of my favorite here. I really like how that pops in. So we have the price. You can change the price, um, the button before and the, the button text before and the button text after. So all the text you can change. You can change the price and then the buy now text here. But I really like it. It kind of opens up and pops out. Very nice. Then we'll go to 12. And this is Rayin, and very nice. We can see it kind of slides in, and the variations are very nice with this too. I believe the slide in comes in from different uh, angles, from maybe the bottom or the top. Very nice. Then we have 13 here, and this is Pippa Look, and kind of has that cool effect. The very the other variation has a square button, um, so there's quite quite a few different variations and there's just quite quite a lot of buttons that you can choose from this one I really like as well Moima kind of just pops in and then has kind of like this effect of popping in 
Very good. And then the color changes when it pops in as well. Very nice. And then we have Aelin. This one has kind of two colors that slides down, which makes it re look really nice. Yep. Yeah. And all these are on hover, all these effects when you hover over the button. Very good. 16. We'll go to 16. This is uh, Sakwi. Actually, let me go back to 15. Yeah, that was Aelin. Okay, very good. So 16 is Sakwi. And that kind of just has a sliding in uh, number, or you can put text in there as well. But just to showcase the price, um, you hover over it and the price shows very good. And the variations of this are very nice as well. So we go to 17. This is Wapasha. I like this one as well. Kind of has a really nice effect. You hover over it and it just kind of pops in. The color changes and it has a border there. Very good. And I believe the variation has a more circular one as well. Circular button. Very good. And then the last one here we have is Nuka. This one I really like as well. Uh, it kind of has like a morphing effect where you have that, that border in the background or that uh, rectangle in the background kind of morphs into a rectangle border. Um, so it kind of morphs into like a, yeah, a rectangle with the border. Um, yeah, which is really cool. It just has that yeah nice morphing effect there. All right, so I really like this one. Kind of just looks like everything's changing and um, the transition is just really cool. All right, very good. So that's Nuka. And again, th this has variations as well. So those are the different button types and each button type has three different variations. So you saw one variation of uh, each button type. Uh, very good. And I think it still has kind of a thinner border for some of the variations. Uh, very good. So those are the button types. I just wanted to showcase them. And then I'll just show you a quick example when using the buttons, kind of the best way to go about it. Uh, because when styling this widget, um, there were so many options. Um, the way when I was doing the coding, um, I made it so you could do all these uh, different customizations. And so there is a best practice when using it. Um, and the best way to use it is I'll go to my PayPal animated buy buttons widget and I'll just drop it in here. And the best way to use it is to simply create your first button, style it just how you like, uh, size, you know, just style everything to the way that you want it for that page. And then what you want to do is simply copy and paste that button. Um, you don't want to have too many different types of buttons on one page. I mean, you can, because uh, I made it available here in the instance number. You just have to change the instance number. Uh, if you wanted a completely different button on the same page, just change the instance number from one to a different instance number, and you can use a completely different button. Um, but what I would recommend for each button is like, let's say you have um, five of one button. What I would do is create the what, the first button first and then just copy and paste that button. And if you did have a second variation, uh, create that one and as well copy and paste that one. Um, it's just easier on the code and doesn't add more uh, style sheets and yeah, more, st more style sheets and, st and styling to the code. So a quick example, um, I'll just kind of change this uh, button here. And I'll I'll make it um, let's do let's do Nuka I'll do Nuka too so we have that or I want kind of the, kind of the square Nuka yeah there we go and so we'll leave it at that um, I'll erase this here uh, <clears throat> to use a Google font and all the colors I'll just leave the colors like that but you can completely customize the colors and then for the font size I'm gonna make this button really big just to have a lot of fun with it. Um, I'm going to see the font size. Actually, let's do like 32. Very good. So the button's a bit bigger, and I'll just drag it out to, so we can see the whole button. And anything else I want to change? Uh, nope, that looks good. By now, font size. And then here up here is where we have all the PayPal options. For the different e-commerce platforms, um, you'll, uh, you'll just have the options to put like the link to the button. For PayPal, uh, because this is a customized PayPal button, you can customize you know, the price. Uh, language, currency, I mean, there's a bunch of different languages here for wherever you are in the world. Uh, currency, we have quite a few different currencies there. Um, item name, you can give your item name, uh, your item a name. So I can just say, yeah, uh, sample item, I'll just leave it as sample item. You can give it an item number, shipping, you can add shipping cost and tax rate. All right, very good. So I'll just center this button in the middle and we can preview it. So I'll hit Command Shift E to preview in the browser. And there's my button. 
And now if I wanted to, let's say I had like 10 items on one page, what I would simply do is just copy and paste this button. And that's all you that's all you'd have to do. And this is just kind of a best practice so that it's lighter in the back end with the code. Um, again, I did want to make this widget really customizable. So it's kind of like just uh, a best practice here when using it. Um, so there we go, Command Shift E and very nice. So all these buttons ha are using the same style sheet. And if you know a bit about code, you know about style sheets. Um, and it's just, it is code within the back end. And because these are all using the same style sheet, it's not very heavy on the code. Um, again, you can have a few different variations. I wanted to, um, you know, I'm not really crazy about giving best practices with my widgets, but for this one, I did kind of want to do that. There's so many options and, and customization with this widget that um, every time you do customize, let's say the color, and it's mostly just the color. If you change the color or the button type, that's when you'll get a completely new style sheet within the code. Um, and yeah, that's just kind of how that, that goes a bit. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of show this video, showcase the buttons. I know in my last video, I kind of just showed you how to use it. And in this video, uh, I just wanted to um, showcase the buttons initially and show you uh, kind of a best practice when using it. Again, you don't have to follow the best practice. Um, I don't think, I mean, with a shop, you're not probably gonna have like 10 different buttons on one page. Um, so even if you do have like, let's say five different buttons, um, you, you'd be okay uh, with the style sheets. But, you know, uh, copying, designing that first button initially and then copying and pasting uh, kind of just saves some code in the back end. Uh, but either way, it's not, you know, you're not gonna have terribly heavy site with using different buttons. Um, the only reason I wanted to give this best practice, and I know I'm talking a lot, is because, um, you know, rather than creating, you know, dropping the widget in 10 times for the same button, you j can just create your first button and then copy and paste it, and that's very effective. Um, so yeah, that's it for this widget. And again, uh, if you did want to purchase the widget, you can find it at museforyoushop.com. And I'll close this here, just click shop now. And then you'll scroll down here to the PayPal uh, buy now, PayPal animated buy buttons. And again, I have it for different platforms here. Um, the same example, I'm gonna put it in all the different platforms. Uh, it's just a little different when you're putting in, let's say the, the link to the item. Um, for PayPal, it does have the PayPal options because it's just a PayPal button. But for Pulley, Selfie, and Gumroad, um, each e-commerce platform has a specific type of link and the widget is designed to uh, to allow you to put that link into the widget and use the buttons uh, rather than let's say a pulley button or a gumroad. Yeah, rather than using the buttons from these platforms, you can use the animated uh, buy buttons. Um, and it, yeah, it's designed to work with these different platforms. All right, so to access the widget, you just click on PayPal, um, then you click add to cart, and then it gets added to the cart and you can purchase the widget. You'll get a download link with a .mulib file and a few other files in there as well, like license agreement and um, the, yeah, the Mula file and a quick start guide as well. Um, so yeah, everything's in the, the zip file. Um, have a lot of fun with this widget. I mean, I've been having a lot of fun with these animation widgets. I'm gonna have an animation bundle coming soon where you can purchase um, all of my animated uh, widgets that I have at the moment for a reduced price um, quite significantly reduced price um, so yeah that's it for this video tutorial again I just wanted to showcase that for you and um, one more thing that I I really wanted to just do um, and I'm gonna just delete these here uh, as I was designing this widget and this is just kind of like a fun thing I wanted to do I as I was designing it like I made a really big button so like I'm just gonna make this button like huge so I'm gonna say like um, 70 or like 96 and I was working with this widget and I was like, hmm, I wanna show everyone just how big you can make your buttons. So if I hit Command Shift E, we have this huge buy now button. And if you click on it, it takes you to PayPal and um, yeah, and you can purchase with that. So uh, yeah, let me go back here. Actually, yeah, let me click on the button. So yeah, here it is. And here you would put your email. I mean, all of this is customizable in the button all your PayPal information and uh, amount, uh, tax and shipping and all that. You can change all of that. Very good. So yeah, I just wanted to showcase that and I'll move this up a little bit. Um, yeah, like 
maybe right there. I was I was working on the widget and I was like, hmm, I want to kind of show how big you can make your buy now button. All right, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I know it went a little bit long. My my goal was kind of to make it short, but I guess it, you know I think there's quite a bit of information that I wanted to share with you. Um, so, yeah, so yeah, thanks for watching this video tutorial. Uh, check out museforyoushop.com. Check out my widgets. Subscribe if you like this video. Um, you can become a patron and support my video creation process. Uh, there's links down below this video where you have access to all of um, that Patreon, um, my shop, all the widgets, a few of the widgets that I have available. And yeah, just a direct link to museforyoushop.com and you can check all that out. Um, yeah, and there's other resources as well on museforyoushop.com. Uh, very good. So uh, yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.